What's up, Tiki Team? Welcome to the channel. My name's Spesh, helping you conquer the Horde. And today we are talking about how to beat the Forsaken Easter Egg as easily and quickly as possible. This is going to be a solo guide for you to beat the Forsaken Easter Egg DLC 4 for Black Ops Cold War. And there's also a pretty good chance this will work really, really well in multiplayer games if you're playing with your friends or something like that. I don't know. I don't have friends. But without further ado, let's hop into the best strategies to beat the Forsaken Easter Egg. And honestly, once you kind of get the idea of how to beat the Easter Egg, the boss fight is super, super simple. Now, to beat the boss fight, you need to basically take out these crystals on the Forsaken's arms. You're going to need to take out four different sets of crystals on the Forsaken. And the best way to do this is going to be with either A, Ring of Fire, and the Crystal Axe SMG, so you're using the Storm and then using that to shoot through his armor crystals on his body. Or I would also recommend before you go into the boss fight, bring with you a death machine. The death machine absolutely tears through these crystals. It's going to help you get through that armor as fast as humanly possible. And it's also going to help you out a ton when you, when you need to recharge Samantha's essence. Honestly, in this boss fight, the death machine is just so freaking OP. And it also helps you conserve on your ammo because there's not an ammo box in the boss fight arena. So you need as much ammo as you can get. And speaking about saving ammo, when you are trying to refill Samantha's essence, I would recommend using the axe part of the crystal axe. It's just going to make your life a whole heck of a lot easier. And honestly, you don't even need to worry about any other weapon in this boss fight. I'm sure there are a ton of good weapons, but the way to do this the fastest is basically a death machine and the crystal axe. You do not need to do anything else. So what I would recommend you do is to start off the first part of the boss fight. I would recommend that you use your ring of fire and use the SMG part of the Crystal Axe and shoot off both shoulder pads of the Forsaken. By doing so, he's going to have both spots exposed. Now you're going to need to charge up Samantha's essence so she can charge up both of the different laser turrets. Once she charges up one, go hop on that laser turret and shoot out one of the Forsaken shoulders. Then charge her up again by using the Crystal Axe Axe and use it to kill the zombies in her little ring of fire that she has going on and have her go charge the other laser. Once she does that, do the exact same thing. Take out the other shoulder of the Forsaken and then you're going to get this super cool little cutscene where you teabag the members of Requiem. It's super fun. Now, when you get brought back, there are going to be two more crystal armors on the Forsaken's body that you need to take out. One on his stomach slash... Um, family jewels region and the other on top of his head now this is where i would recommend using the death machine just take out the death machine if you have ring of fire charge great you can use that or you could just use the death machine by itself start by taking out the stomach now this is all going to be taken out at one time you cannot take out both the stomach and the head at one time this time so take out all of the stomach armor and then charge Samantha up so that she can once again let you charge up the laser. Now make sure that you are just kind of basically avoiding the attacks of the Forsaken. It's actually not hard at all to avoid his attacks. And there's so much room to move in here. The zombies aren't going to really be that big of a problem. But when you are running around the map, I would 100% recommend having the axe out to clear a path in front of you in one hit almost every single time. Just to keep yourself safe. Now obviously then you're just going to fire the laser into his stomach. And then you are going to want to rinse and repeat through the top of his head. Now, during this last part, he does have a really strong attack. So you're going to want to make sure you stay out of the way of his gigantic lightning blast that he has. Very similar to the Abomination. Again, use Ring of Fire and the Death Machine if you have it. Take out that crystal on his head and then aim the laser at his cranium. This is going to help you beat the Forsaken Easter Egg so freaking fast. This is definitely the easiest way to beat the Forsaken Easter Egg inside of the game right this second. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you soon. I want to give a quick massive shout out to any of our channel members or Twitch subs over on the channel, and a big extra shout out to the Zombie Rick Toffin members, starting off with hashtag best mod, Strict Archer, the Quippest Man in the Southern Hemisphere, Commander underscore Quip, and the man, the myth, the legend, Tiz Brandon ZR.